Okay, so let's begin our note for note and page by page uh, tutorial on playing this Bach arrangement of the prelude in E major. Uh, like we said in the intro, it's mostly 16th notes, so you're going to be doing a lot, of, a lot of that kind of thing. So really take it to a metronome, practice it slow, get it memorized. And this piece sounds great at a slower tempo, too. It's, a, it's just such a nice piece of music. So um, whatever tempo you can get it up to, it's going to sound great. All right? So let's start out with I, I kept this piece pretty much really close to the actual original violin score. Um, most classical guitars or guitar players, they add a lot of bass notes to um, realize the harmony that Bach is implying in the, in the tri in the, uh, throughout the piece. I do add a couple things here or there, but for the most part, I keep it single note. Um, if we have like chordal picking passages that we can let notes ring in together, uh, we use that. I, I, I do that technique since it sounds so nice. Um, it's something that a violinist can't do, but you know, it's because they're playing the wrong instrument. All right, so let's, uh, let's get going. All right, the first note, we have an open E on the sixth string. That's actually not in the score, but that's how a lot of classical guitarists started out. It kind of just establishes the key of E. And since uh, it, the first notes come in on an upbeat, that's usually what, on the downbeat of the one, one. They play like that. Now I'm picking that with uh, a downstroke, and then, then a, I just go down, up, down with a pinky and third uh, finger here on the 12th. And that allows me to just come over with a pinky here and go down, down, down. It's slow enough, I can just do all downstrokes. Except for there, down, up, down, 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 down. Then I come down to the ninth fret. Be following along with the tab. I'm going to go a little bit quicker than we usually do. We have about 1,700 notes here, so we got to get through it. So then we go. So that right there is 9, 11, 9, 8. Just straight alternate picking, starting with a downstroke. And then end on the 9 on the third string. Come back, shift back down to the 4. Hit an upstroke, then a downstroke on the six on the four string. Then use your. I like to do hybrid picking here. I set up. We have an open B string. That's why we didn't get. We want to set up. Use that open string as to shift back down. So we have this, and you shift back down into position here. And now we're going to start this little. All right. Now that, just first of all, let's, we know we're rotating between, just I'm hybrid picking my middle finger here. You can do down, up, down, up, down, up if you'd like. We have a down stroke. Uh, we'll just get the notes in the bass line first, since that's the only thing that's changing. Two on the, uh, with a down stroke on the fourth string, then four, then one on the three, two on the three, back down to one, four, and then when you come down, back down to this two, finger it with your first finger. Uh, that'll make sense for what's coming up next. So we have now just put an open second string in between each one of those. Make sure you, when you use that first finger, don't mute out that. Try to let the notes bleed in together. Sounds great. The reason why now we're using our first finger here, this is the first note of the next group of uh, 16th notes and that and the next measure, and we have. So I'm doing straight alternate picking there. Down, up, down, up. So I did four, three, one, then reach over the four here. And then we do those notes again, but this time when I go down to the four, I use my pinky because we're continuing down the scale. Four, two, one, and then four. And then now we go back to the second finger here because we go back to exactly back to what we did before. And we'll end that one with the first finger again on this fourth string. And the same figure we did. All right, so that little phrase right there, both of them together. Now we're going to end this one with our second, our first finger. So we can start this little scale run. So that is just straight three notes per string scale forms. You should know, I'm sure, from the site. We have 
two, four, six. Straight alternate picking, start with the down stroke. Two, four, six, two, four, six. Four, five, seven. Then four, five, and then seven on the second string. So we have four, five, seven on the second string, then four, five on the first string, and then the seven on the second string again. And then end it with four, seven on the first. So I straight alternate picking. And then keep going, straight alternate picking. Down on the five, seven on the, and then up on the seven on the second string there. Four, five, seven. So we have. And that's just nine, 11, 12, nine, 11, 12. And that last 12 is the beginning of the next measure. All right. And then we have this phrase. Now here's where I'm actually going to be doing some economy picking. So we have, we start with the downstroke here, up, up with your third finger, down on 10, up on 12, then back to nine, then 12, then back to, to 11 on the third string with a downstroke, 12, so we have, we have this. We ended that little phrase with a, uh, the third, um, third string, ninth fret with the first finger. We go to the 12. Now that was a down stroke, then up, 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 up. So that nine on the, the uh, first string and the 12 on the second string, I, I economy picked those. The real reason I did that is because what's coming up next, when we take us down to the third fret, uh, third string, nine, and we roll back to the top nine, that makes it a down up. And if we wouldn't have done that, uh, uh, economy picking would have been up down, and uh, that would have been uncomfortable. So we have down up down up on the 12 on the second string. I keep going back to this nine on the third, then nine again, ten, and then we have another uh, economy picking down down across that little nine the, from the third to second string, then. An, up stroke on the 12, and then continue that pedal point stuff again. 11 on the third string, 12, we're rotating against this 12 now. 11 on the third string to 12 on the up stroke, 9, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 11 on the third string, back to that 12, and back to that same run before. All right, now this time we're gonna stop here, then we're gonna start this next phrase, which is this. Okay, so that, here, let's just learn the notes on the third string first. Once again, that's another, I hybrid pick that. The open first string, I always pick with my middle finger, but you can do down, up, keep, with a pick if you, if you like. Um, so anyway, we have down stroke, at the 13 with your pinky. This is real important with the fingerings for shifting. Pinky at 13, then 9, 8, 9, 11, 8, 9. So I can't basically shift it back to the 8th position and kept everything in its own little fret. Except for this 13, then real economy of movement. Then we shift to the 11th position and we can do everything in 11th position with every finger with its own fret for this melody. That's just 13, 11, 13, 14, 11. So just practice that first. Then it repeats again. You gotta put your pinky there again. All right, now let's just put, don't, don't kill the notes like I was doing there, but we just, now we put a hybrid picked open E in between each one and let them ring together. Now here comes probably one of the most beautiful parts of the entire piece, and one of the most difficult to play as well. A lot of cross picking. I kind of did this in a style like how Al Demiola does a lot of his cross picking, 
just kind of lay these arpeggios across the strings. So, I mean, these try these uh, all, yeah, all these arpeggios. So we're just going to try to get these together. We're going to have this open string going. Now the good thing is it's the same picking pattern over and over again, but it's an economy cross picking pattern. So the basic pattern is it's going to be this. Uh, let's get the 13th fret on the uh, with the third finger here, and then the 14th fret with a pinky on the fourth string. Hold that. Now let's just do the picking pattern on that three times. The picking pattern is going to be a down on the third, then an upstroke on the first, then an upstroke again on the third and then a uh, downstroke on the four. And when we do a downstroke on the four, that's going to lead us back into that downstroke on the three again. So it's a comedy picking there too, starting over. So it's really four, four notes, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. So that this is the pattern one time through. And we do the pattern three times on every chord form that we're holding. So every chord form is just going to be holding two notes at a time. So the first two notes of this 13 and 14. Then we just take this 14 on the fourth string and make it a 13 by moving your second finger over here. And then we got the same picking pattern there. Then move that finger down to the 12. And then we have 14 on the third string and then 11 on the fourth. Then take your first finger and move it down to 9. Keep the pinky at the 12th, I mean the 14th fret on the 3rd string. Then take your 3rd finger, I mean I'm sorry, take your pinky and move it back 1 fret. Keep everything else the same, same picking pattern 3 times. Then take your 3rd finger, place it, you can pick up the 1st finger now, put the 3rd finger at the 12th fret on the 5th string, now the picking pattern, instead of coming to the fourth string, comes down to the fifth. So everything else will be the same. So still down on the third, up, up, and then but you come all the way down to the fifth to hit that last note. So we have this. Then take your second finger and play 11. Keep the third, the, the third finger where it's at. Uh, the 11th fret on the third string right here for the second finger. And same picking pattern three times. Then move this finger back. I'm going to play it like this. I know it's kind of awkward looking, but it helps for what's coming next. 11, I just move this back to the 11. Same picking pattern. And then the first finger is going to take the 9 on the third string. Then take the, the 9 on the fifth string. I know that's an awkward shape, but it works for what's coming next. Same picking pattern three times. down at 8. Alright, I went kind of into the page 2 there uh, just so we can finish that phrase because it's a really nice phrase but they're all the same pattern so it's good to kind of keep them together. Okay, so we're on to page 2 now.